of years ago, I talked about how Nintendo had defeated Switch hackers. And here I am using that headline again. But it's actually pretty true this time around. See, last time, Nintendo did do some clever tricks uh, that some hackers were struggling with at the time. But naturally, as things go, hackers are usually ahead of the game. Within a couple days of that video, the hack, the, the, the little patches Nintendo put in were fixed. This time around, though, Nintendo has quietly released a practically bugless OS in Mariko Switches. Now, I want to put something out here. I am not saying the Nintendo Switch cannot be hacked. If you have any Switches before the Red Box, before the V2 version, those Switches are still as hackable as they've always been through the pinout exploit that exists thanks to NVIDIA's F up with the hardware. So, yes, the NVIDIA exploit will still work on those OG Switches, which are not made anymore and no longer make up a majority of Switch units on the market since Switch Lite and the V2 Switch do not use those chipsets. I'm also not saying that you cannot hack the Switch even on the new units. However, doing so is extremely difficult because the ease at which it was, we were able to hack Switches in the past wasn't just due to faulty hardware. Nintendo's software was also able to be hacked. But that is no longer the case on any Mariko chip based platform for switch you cannot hack it through software anymore which means the only way to hack it involves using mod chips which are not easy for people to do and e very easy to brick your system so basically the ease at which you could hack a switch is now eliminated for anyone buying a switch over the last couple of years and probably into the future so this comes from scryers m a well-known hacker who's been on top of the hacking industry when it comes to nintendo switch in particular here's what he said still a lot of work to do before it's ready for non-development use aka fatal errors are broken shut down reboot are broken reboot the payload doesn't work but smiley face and he mentions this is a hack of switch that uses the mod chip cfw such drm bypass mariko does not and likely never will have software hacks so the type of the, the way under which he is hacking a new model switch involves some very technical, carefully done mod chip related work that is pretty much impossible for most people to do. I want to say impossible, but I guess really difficult in general for the general public to do, which means the idea of pirating switch games on anything that is not a first gen switch is practically a non-factor moving forward. Here's what he goes on to say. So some questions came up like FDO. Uh, Nicolio here says, so does that mean there's no vulnerability in the software? Or Nintendo Switch, Mariko, the only solution is to have a mod chip? That's not, you know, obviously. Hacking is like, oh my God, mod, like mod chips are not something that's easy to use. Uh, Jake Baldwin says, so there, so there's never no vulnerability, so responds Jake Baldwin. Uh, but presumably, there isn't one that has been discovered and it would, wouldn't necessarily be made public even if it were discovered. Never say never, though. Maybe we get some SX clones, and this is the company that was shut down by Nintendo that, that was doing some SX stuff. Michael comes out to say, Scryerzyme says, in all seriousness, I've re-implemented their secure monitor as open source software twice. It has no bugs. I've re-implemented their kernel as open source software. It has no exploitable bugs. Software hacks isn't happening unless NVIDIA made boot ROM mistakes, which is extremely unlikely. So MCMRC1 says, hard to believe. I am no dev, and maybe you're right, but you really think Mariko is the first 100% perfect and secure device out there? Maybe you just can't see the forest for the trees. I bet someone will find a vulnerability, and you will think, what the fuck, why haven't I seen this? Michael responds, Xbox One has successfully gone an entire generation without software compromise vulnerabilities. So this wouldn't be the first time, be the second time. Um, Nintendo's secure monitor has 300 functions. Its kernel has roughly 800. These are tiny binaries, small enough that it's possible to get them right. I'm less confident in NVIDIA's code though, but you know, whatever. Uh, 
Leopoldo Garcia says, NV, aka NVIDIA, for now it's cheaper for me to have it without modifying. And here in Venezuela, there are no reliable welders. And also, they charge you the work the same price over the Nintendo Switch Lite for installing the mod chip. Yeah, mod chip. Again, gotta be done by a professional. Software hacks really seems unlikely to me. I would plan as though it will never happen. Nintendo has now created perfect software for anti-hacking. Nintendo has been notoriously against hacking for a long time, and it's understandable. You look at what happens with almost every major game release Nintendo has, it fully leaks. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen Age of Calamity leaking all over the place right now. But part of that is because of Nintendo locking things down. Nintendo has created perfect software. As long as NVIDIA doesn't screw it up, as long as NVIDIA doesn't create an opening that Nintendo can't do anything about, like they did with the original mod chips, or the original, uh, I shouldn't say mod chips, the original chips, the only way you're going to get it is through a professionally installed mod chip, which is expensive, and most people aren't going to be messing around with. Nintendo, I gotta, I gotta say... They're trying to prevent piracy. They're trying to prevent hacking. Like I'm not against people hacking their systems and overclocking them and stuff. But let's be honest, a lot of people want to hack their systems so they can pirate games. That's I'm not saying there's not other uses. We all know the hacking community. And I know if you're from that hacking community and you're watching this video, you're probably just rolling your eyes and getting ready to destroy me in the comments. Guys, I realize not all of you are about that pirate life. Sometimes you just put themes on there. Sometimes you're just backing up your games. I know, modifying games and having fun with them. I get it. There's legit reasons to hack systems and have a good time. I'm a computer programmer, so I get it. It can be fun. But, and I can't stress this, it's undeniable a large portion of people who hack their Switches pirate games. To deny that is to be blind to the world in which you're living in. So, here's the deal. Nintendo has found a way to stop Switch hackers, to make hacking the Switch an e easily impossible. Nintendo did it. They pulled off successfully what Microsoft pulled off with the Xbox One. The Xbox One to date has not been hacked without a mod chip. It just hasn't. It hasn't been hacked without a mod chip. Hence, you don't hear about Microsoft xbox one hacking do you is it even a topic that comes up are there massive videos coming up all over the place are you hearing about xbox games i know lol xbox has no games but are you hearing about new xbox games getting leaked it doesn't happen why doesn't it happen because if the only way to hack the platform is with a mod chip which is literally an additional piece of hardware inside the system that opens it up if that's the only way to hack your platform it's pretty much like your platform's unhackable and not literally unhackable but it's unhackable for the masses and if it's unhackable for the masses game leaks are gone game dumps are gone because so few people only the ultra true hacking enthusiasts which are which you know had that have money too by the way will have these mod chips because it's expensive, and most people can't install them themselves. They need a professional. It's expensive. It's like getting a capture card put on a 3DS. Hey, there was a company in Japan that was doing it. It was freaking expensive. So most people don't have the ability to direct capture off their 3DS. Same is true here. The software being unhackable leads to... The Switch being considered an unhackable system, just like the Xbox One. Now, will, will someone figure it out someday? Maybe, but it might be long after the generation's over and it doesn't matter anymore. So kudos to Nintendo. Kudos, kudos, kudos to Nintendo. Now, obviously, we'll have to wait and see how, how, how hackable or unhackable the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are. Um, we're really early in the gen. I'm sure there's hackers already working on it. But, yeah, obviously, uh, there's some cool things that come from the hacking community. But man, oh man, oh man, I'm kind of happy for Nintendo. I'm happy for any company that can that can lock down their platform from people who are trying to do nefarious things, like distribute illegal games and play games illegally. I get it. Gaming's expensive. But you know what? 
The developers who made these games deserve money. If you, even if you're like, oh, I just want to try it. Okay. And guess what? A developer doesn't want to work for free. I'm a software developer. I, I'm sorry. I get the try before you buy. And if there's a demo, if we decide to make a demo available, cool, enjoy the demo. But if we didn't, because we absolutely need every penny, okay. Buy the game. Rent the game if you if you have to. Do something legal to play it. Not illegal. Anyways, I am Nintendo Robo Chance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.